You hear that? Listen, listen. You like that? You like that? I, I, I like that. You're right. I like that. In fact, I loved it. Now, my thoughts on this game. Even though we won, and I wish it was a shutout, because you know how hard it is to give a, get a shutout in the, in the professional, in the, the pros, in the NFL. It's hard. The Seattle Seahawks now have a 99% chance of making the playoffs. The defense was dominating. I'm going to be honest with you. The, the, def the player who, to me, won the MVP in this game, I will be honest with you. I, I personally thought it was Bobby Wagner. Bobby Wagner was the player of the game for the Seattle Seahawks. I mean, this guy did fourth down stops. They, he blocked the field goal. Bobby Wagner, once again, was amazing. Just like he was amazing against the Niners. So far, this is, to me, his best season in his career. I mean, you can make a judge of that if you want. You can judge that or talk about that if you want. But this that's my opinion. But the Seattle Seahawks, here's my, what's my problem about this whole game. Wilson did not look like himself. And I understand the Vikings defense was actually, was actually a pretty decent defense. But that, let me tell you something. Uh, Wilson did not look like himself. The, the Seattle Seahawks ran the ball. But when they ran the one, I, I was just trying to think, why did you not run it? I mean, if you're going to pass it, don't throw it back. I mean, it, when he was throwing it backwards, personally, personally, he didn't throw hard enough. But I, I didn't see any wide receivers back there. So it probably would have been a 10-second runoff, but second, seconds left. Uh, Seattle, I believe, had like... Seattle had no timeout, so they had to spike it. And I, they could have been up six... Nothing in the half of that would have happened. Or Wilson, because Wilson was trying to find Lockett, but he slipped. And maybe Walt Lockett could have gone touchdown, but you know. But Wilson just did not look like himself in the passing game today. Uh, the running game, Seattle in the second quarter. Seattle in the run game. Heading to the end of the second quarter. I think like, well, actually five minutes left in the second quarter. Or Ten. They were already at over a hundred yards rushing. That 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 running back core of Seattle, man, good. It, it did a good run game too. This team had it was pathetic. 63 passing yards. I, I, I was angry. I was angry about that. And Doug, Doug Baldwin was not playing, so you couldn't use that saying, like, that was a big excuse and all that, Wh which could be true. That could be true. But lots of times, Wilson just did not look like himself today. The rushing yards in total was 214. The Vikings only had 77. Seattle, though. Man. Just the running game is good. Uh, Carson had 90 yards. Wilson had 61. Penny had 44. Davis had 22. But even though Wilson did trash, though, he did do trash. I mean, he was, this was, he was 10 for 20 for 72 yards and averaging 3.6 and 119 was sacked two times for a negative 12 yards. But, you know, hopefully, ho and a quarterback rating of 37.9. Now, hopefully, he bounces back next week against the Niners. But what does this tell you about Seattle? It tells us that they got a brighter future than you think. I mean, this team almost had a shutout, and it would have been great. And hopefully, like I said, they, they play Wilson plays better against the Niners next week. The Niners did beat the Broncos last week. Seattle, by the end of the year, is either going to go 11 5 or 10 6. I predicted in the beginning of the year, I said 9 and 7. And I, 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 I could be wrong about that. I mean, it doesn't mean I, I might be wrong or I might not be. But hopefully, they. Could finish with a great 10 and 6 or 11 and 5. Because the reason why I say 11 and 5 because next week the Patriots, if the Patriots lose one more time, 
the Patriots lose to the Steelers and the Chiefs beat the Chargers, the Chiefs will have the number one seed, and the Chiefs would probably, if they want to take guts and moves to start their starters, then go ahead. But if the Patriots lose next week and the Chargers lose to the Chiefs, the Chiefs will clear, clinch number one seed. And who knows, maybe can't see the rest of their, their guys for the rest of the season. But maybe Seattle can get a 10-6 record. 10-6, I'm going to say, by the end of the year. But at the beginning of the year, I said 9-7. And, and people laughed at me. Well. Look who's laughing at who now. Anyway, let's talk about the Vikings. What have the Vikings proven us? And I predicted by the end, uh, the beginning of the year, the Minnesota Vikings would be a disappointment. Kirk Cousins, and I say to a lot of people, Kirk Cousins can get hot and can get cold. He's not worth what he was worth. He's just not. Kirk Cousins is now 0-7 on Monday Night Games, and Russell Wilson is now... I think it's 5-0 and or 6-0 and against the Minnesota Vikings. You guys got to leave a comment down below about who, what's his record against them. With the remaining schedule, what both those teams have, because obviously it's going to come down to one of these two teams. I mean, Redskins, they're done. Eagles, they're done. Panthers, <laughs> the Panthers got a tough schedule. They got to play the Saints twice. Eagles, it's going to take a miracle for them. And they're playing against the Rams. Then one more lot, one more loss, and the Eagles are done. They're probably done at this moment right now. But you gotta think about who gets that last seed. I mean, not last seed, the fifth seed, Seattle or Minnesota. Because of the fact the Seattle Seahawks have won this game, they now own the tiebreaker with Minnesota. Minnesota's rainy schedule. They're home against Miami. They let me find it real quick. Their next game. Sec, where are you? The air, they're at Detroit, and they're home against the Bears. So the Dolphins, they can pr they they could show something. They could show something, maybe. The Bears will definitely lose to them. And you got the Seahawks. The Seahawks, like I said, they go to San Francisco. It depends how the Patriots game goes with Pittsburgh, because if Pittsburgh wins, the Chiefs can probably rest their and Chiefs win against the Chargers. The Chiefs can decide to rest their stars for the rest of the main of the season, and who knows what could happen right there. Maybe Seattle could win that one if that does happen. But if it's just starters, God, I don't know. I don't know. I'll take a miracle to stop that offense if they have their star have their starters, and then they're home against the Arizona Cardinals, the team that. They have struggles against at home, but it doesn't have the same old head coach anymore. He's no longer there. It's a whole new team. Well, Seattle has never lost to a rookie QB. Well, they haven't lost to a rookie QB since 2011. I shouldn't have said no. I should not have said never. But, yeah, 2011 was the last time they lost to a rookie QB. That time was Andy Dalton. He blew them out. But the remainder of the schedule the Seattle Seahawks have, they... They can lock up the, fifth, the fifth seed. Minnesota's got a tough schedule. Carolina, they have a tough schedule. Carolina's got to play the Saints twice. They play them next Monday at Carolina. Then they're home against the Falcons. And then they got to go to New Orleans. So Carolina, and Carolina's already falling apart. So really, I th the only team, the, the only team I can see get the fifth seed is the Seahawks. Unless something happens to Wilson and the Minnesota Vikings can somehow somehow crawl back, but really, though, you know, I'm looking at the Seattle team. Do you know what the prediction of the Seattle Seahawks was in the beginning of the year? 4-12. and 12. They've won eight games. Soon to be over that. Even when people don't want to admit and I wish we had that shout out so I can, so people can shut up about Seattle from all that. Oh, they're not a real team and all that. Just shut up. Now, if it were, I would have loved to shout out, but remember everybody. Even if Seattle does not want to admit they are rebuilding. Even if this is a rebuild. It's so far a successful rebuild. It is. 
And if they can somehow, some way, win in the wild card round on the road, think about that. Let's say they make the playoffs. They go to like Chicago or Dallas. Most likely, I think they'll go to Dallas. Dallas or Chicago, either one of those teams. A road. Can you imagine that? The season that people have been giving crap on Seattle, I'm just glad they're proving them wrong. But this was a crazy. Good win. Good win. On the, another tiebreaker. So, yeah. Glad we got the win. Glad we got it. And what it's taught us about Minnesota, Minnesota and Kirk Cousins are overrated. Because <coughs> how can you, how can you be 13-3 and three last year with Case Keenum, who's not that big of a quarterback, but yet, be like you are right now. What's the record now? Six, six, and one. How can how how is that possible? They're probably gonna end up personally, personally, they'll probably end up being eight, seven, and one. To me, they'll be eight, seven, and one by the end of the year. Because they probably will be my beat Miami. They'll beat Detroit at Detroit, I guarantee you. And they got they'll, they'll lose the Bears. And they will play Chicago at Chicago. They probably will lose that too. But yeah. Huge win for Seattle. Great win. They're gonna go ten and six or eleven to five.